Did you ever hear the story of Little Charlie and Big Charlie? Anita and I are watching series on videos right now called the Death Valley Days. I think they were done like in the 50s or early, early 60s probably. They're true stories from the days of Nevada, California, and the Death Valley area. So recently they had one at Little Charlie and Big Charlie. They were partners uh, in uh, prospecting partners for 10 years. They eventually struck it rich, and so they were able to sell their mine, the gold that they found, for $25,000 a piece. Big Charlie was ambitious, and he took his $25,000, he moved back to the East Coast, got married, became a corporate person, made lots and lots of money, but he was so involved in his uh, business that he uh, lost his family. After 26 years, his wife left him, his kids were grown up, but both of them lived in Paris, and so now it comes Christmas time, and he's all alone. At the same time, little Charlie was content to stay there in the Nevada area, the Nevada territory. He took his $25,000, and he bought himself the little um, store that, that they had always been going to to buy their supplies while they were, while they were out prospecting. He bought that little store and ran that store but he was a generous kind of a guy and not really interested in making a lot of money for himself or anything like that generous kind of guy so he kept grub staking these prospectors just giving them the things that they needed without having them pay them you know saying well i know they'll pay me back someday and i know they'll take care of me. well that goes on and on and on until he finally runs out of money and he loses the store for taxes and he has to go back to prospecting i don't know how long he did it but uh after a time um, an old prospector died. The sheriff went to get his body and found that that the guy had actually struck it him, struck it rich himself, been collecting gold a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and uh, uh, and he willed it all to um, little Charlie. So little Charlie now uh, has enough money to go back and buy his store, and he gets in his store and he's running. And things are going very well. Life is back how he likes it to be, and you know, in his store, running it and operating it. He's got some postcards in the store, so he just sends one for Christmas card. He sends it to Big Charlie. Just all it says, Merry Christmas from to Big Charlie from Little Charlie. Well, Big Charlie's alone. And so, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to that old place and see after 20, 5, 26, 27, 8, 28 years, however long it was, I'm going to go back and see Little Charlie. And so here they are going back to the old campsite where they divided their money and uh, went their separate ways. And they're saying, what would you have done different? Both of them agree they probably wouldn't have done anything different. But, um, and then the show ends with saying, which one made the right choice? You'll have to decide. You know, every one of us, we're different. We just are. We're made differently. We think of things differently. We do things differently. Um, I, I can, and in my case, I can see which one I think did the right thing. I, little Charlie, in my mind, was the giver and a kind guy. And, uh, and you know, in the end, He's the one who has the most, and Big Charlie's got a lot of money, maybe, but he doesn't have um, joy in his life, doesn't have contentment in his life. But uh, I think each one of us get to make our own choices in that, don't we?